Hello, everyone. Welcome to Wind Down Wednesdays, Stamping with Tony. And I uh, hope you are you had a wonderful day. And so we're going to do some um, something fun again tonight. So grab your favorite beverage and uh, meet me back here. And we will work on our fun project. <clears throat> okay. So tonight I thought it'd be kind of fun to uh, play with the uh, cute fruit. Okay, I gotta okay. turn down my volume so, so I don't have to. I thought it'd be kind of fun to find uh, my volume thing. Play with the uh, cute fruit. Okay, I gotta okay. turn down my volume so, so I don't have tonight. to. Oh, there we go. Okay, my volume's down. <laughs> so sorry about that. Anyway, so hi, Vicky. So uh, the the cute fruit is this is uh, a new brochure that came out this year, and it is uh, it's geared to new stampers or new to uh, stamping up, and um, it has some really cute uh, sets in it. Uh, so uh, so anyway, it's great for uh, it's great for just getting started and, um, and everything, so it's kind of cool. But anyway, one of them is called uh, Cute Fruit Cards and Tags. And so it's just really, it is, it's really fun. And uh, summery, and we have had incredibly hot temperatures here this week. So I thought, oh, I'll just take this out because it's definitely, hi, Tita. Uh, it's definitely uh, bright and cheery and make you probably want a margarita, so you might want to go get a margarita or some frosty beverage. But uh, I have some iced tea. Anyway, what aren't they cute? So, so, so cute. So anyway, I was playing this afternoon, and so I decided that I would make a card. So this is the card that I made. And uh, it's colorful, isn't it? So I stamped the card. I stamped the card, obviously, and then I just cut it into segments, right? And then put it on the card. So it's kind of cute. So it's kind of fun. So you just kind of randomly, uh, you know, I just like the color of it. So anyway, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to stamp some stuff and then we're going to cut it and then we're going to put the, the cards together. But I just thought it would be a fun little project. And um, so I hope you'll enjoy it. Uh, my husband asked me what kind of fruit those were. And I said they were orange or they were, uh, they're uh, oranges. They're those blood oranges, which kind of look a um, dark red, almost a purple. But uh, anyway, I just had to add some purple on my card. So I thought it was pretty, so I did it. But anyway. Okay, so I'm going to set that over here for now. Can't see it. But uh, I've got plenty of white cardstock. So I thought <clears throat> I would play with it. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Because it's kind of random. But I haven't used the watermelon yet, so I thought I would do the watermelon. But I have so many different ones that I've got different things on there so I've got all my stamp colors and the, oh the other thing that's really cool about the book uh is that it has it has like all of the different colors that you they recommend that you can use with it which is kind of cool so it has basic gray coastal cabana daffodil delight florida flamingo gorgeous grape granny apples green real red and shaded spruce and then you can pick and then they have these cute little faces but I did put the faces on because that kind of creeps me out. But I think I'll put some on this time. But I don't like to think about my fruits and vegetables as having uh, faces because, you know, anyway, it's kind of cute. But I, I eat a lot of veg a lot of fruit, so I don't really want to think about them having faces as I don't usually like to eat things like that. But anyway, different story, different thing. Okay, so let's see. Let me find a greed that I want to use for the watermelon. I think I'm going to use the shaded spruce for that. And uh, so I'm going to do the, I haven't done this before, so I don't really know how it's going to work. I haven't done the watermelon. I thought I would do like this, that. I kind of like to do things that kind of rows and stuff. I don't know. And then this is what I'm going to do off the page. It wouldn't be a 
what would it be if I didn't make a mess on my cute little paper pumpkin? Okay, so then I'm gonna use Real Red. I have a watermelon in my freezer. This refrigerator is just gonna make me really wanna do uh, eat watermelon. Is this cute? I love this watermelon. It's really, really cute. Okay. I don't know if you guys have this set or not, but you could have wanted it after tonight. Because I don't want to get my head in the way. But look at that. Does that make you want a water bullet? I think it makes me want a water bullet. Hope you guys have had a good day today. One of our friends came over and uh, their boat dared worked uh, lunch today, so he. He was home. So they came over with their boat and uh, we set out on our dock and fed the turtles and chit chatted. It was really nice. It wasn't really that hot. The sun in the afternoon, we have morning, uh, morning sun on that side of the house and then at night, in the afternoon it goes, uh, goes around the house. So it's kind of nice. Okay, so then we're gonna do some dandruffs right there. That'll be kind of fun to do, I think. But the first time I did them, I didn't realize that they have little, uh, there's like a little brown thing that goes on the end of them. So I found that when I was doing it. <clears throat> He's cute. I was thinking it'd be cute to have a little monkey that went with it, but they did it. Does it have one? Okay, so now, um, I've got to find that little thing. Okay, here it is. This little, this little thing here is, uh, I guess supposed to be brown. I don't know. I don't know what color it's supposed to be. I'm going to make it, I'm going to make it gray, I think. I don't know. We'll see. Let's see what it is. I've never done it before. Okay, let's see. Really see it. Oh, that's kind of cool looking. Kind of cool looking, huh? Can't really see. Because the way I have this other one, I can't really see through it. But it's kind of funky looking. See? Okay, so now I gotta do some something else. Maybe some citrus or something. Let's see. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. What can I do? Do this one or this one. Maybe. I've got yellow, so I need to do something that's not yellow. I'll do flirty flamingo. I just love that card. Okay. So... Let's do some of these. So then when you cut it, it's just kind of... Shows parts of the card and stuff. It's just kind of fun. Okay, let me do that. And then I'm gonna do some yellow woods. Some yellow woods. Just fud. Just fud. Do a half a one here. Do a half a one there. Do a half a one there. See, you just kind of be really random with it. Oops. Not that random. It looks like a rotten fruit. What? Oh, I'm not hitting it on where I should hit it. Okay. I think that's enough. Okay, so then let's do the little thing. The love vibe in the coconut. Pick it all up. Vibe in the coconut. Pick it all up. Yeah, there's no coconut here. Oh, well, that's too big. Oh well. First time I was using really little ones. 
I'll be using bigger ones. I haven't had anything to drink, but you would think I was drunk for the way I'm stamping. Okay, there's one more there. Okay, cool. That was kind of cool. Oh, there's one more here. Hiding from me. Oh, there's another one up there. Oh, Lord. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to bring this in. I'm going to show you how, how I did it. Let's see. So... I basically did one and a half. And one and a half. So they're not completely even, but that's okay. I don't, it doesn't matter to me. I'll show you how we'll put it together. <coughs> so what color card are we gonna use? Cardstock, let's see, I brought cardstock. Oh. Okay, so what color cardstock are we going to use? Let's see, where's the card? Uh, I think we'll use red. So we got one of them. Okay, so <clears throat> five and a half, four and a quarter. So five and a half, I don't usually cut cardstock. Four and a quarter is how we're going to. Uh, that and then I'll go ahead and cut a couple more because I won't have to do that because I'm going to do a couple more cards just because we'll just have some fun with it. Four and a quarter. Don't you love this paper cutter? Oh my gosh, it's so lightweight and just really nice. Five and a half. Four and a quarter. I have to get that cut blade out of the way because I don't know about you, but I have cut eggs that I didn't want to sometimes. Woo! Yeah. Five and a half. Love these colors. Four and a quarter. They're so fun. Okay. Now, I think we're done with that. Okay, so for this one, I think we'll use the red. Bone folder, it is. I know, it's really fun, isn't it? It's a really cute little, uh, it's a cute little card. I'm so glad they have a brochure uh, for people just, just getting started because uh, it would have been helpful to me. I mean, you know, I never stamped a card at all when I first uh, learned about it. I hadn't even done a card. So when I ordered my kit, I'd never made a card before. So my upline, Michelle, my cousin, uh, helped me uh, pick out, you know, some stuff to get. But then when I got my, when I got my stuff, I realized I didn't really have enough, you know, because you could only order like ninety nine dollars worth, and uh, or one hundred twenty five dollars worth. And I realized I didn't pick. I needed. I couldn't even make a card, so I had to order places I could order. Okay, so. I noticed that this was a little bit bigger because I'm separating it. And so what I do, instead of measuring it, instead of measuring it uh, which, you know, be smarter, you guys should measure it, but I, you know, I, I kind of go by the seat of my pants sometimes. That's just the artist in me. I guess the laziness in me, but I don't know. I, uh, I tend to, tend to shoot, shoot it over sometimes. Okay, so I like that. Okay, so I'm gonna use glue this time because I used uh, the other, the tape for, and uh, I think I need to be able to move it around if I need to. I do love these colors. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. Who would it like to get a card like this? I mean, it's just, it's so fun. So fun, so fun, so fun. They call it cute fruit. Okay, let's see. Isn't that cool? Should move 
it up just a little bit so my wallet uh, lights up better. Okay. And this one is how that was going to be. Okay. So we were out there and uh, my friend was feeding the turtles because, you know, we have so many. Usually there's like 50 of them. And the people that lived here before, and the neighbors all feed the Cheerios. Well, the generic one because we don't buy Cheerios. And uh, so they came up on their boat. So Dara went in and got, uh, and got some Cheerios. And oh my gosh, there's probably 50 or more turtles. And it's so fun to, to just watch them. And they just get so excited. They get so close to you. Anyway, how do you think it looks? Hi, Brenda. What you think? I like it. Anyway, I'll put a, uh, I'll stamp a little thing. So when I cut my white pages, I don't know about you guys, but when I cut my um, paper, I end up with all of this extra strips and they're perfect for um, making sentiments, I think. So, I've been using this new punch, the banner, banner punch, and uh, I love it. I love all my punches, but uh, I'm going to save this one again, just because I can. Okay. There's some really cute sentiments in this set. It's wishing you a slice of happiness. You're one in a melon. Uh, I couldn't ask for a sweeter friend. Smile. Uh, so anyway, so anyways, what I, I'm gonna pull this out. So here's the the banner one, the do the the new one, and um, so you could do one side like this and one side like that, or you can do them however you want to do them. But uh, so I. Got to play with it a little bit. Depending on which side, if you have, uh, if you want it to be, it's not how much you want, how close you want it to be. Okay, so this one. So then I'll put it up here. This one. Cool. So it's got like a little arrow and then this wood. Look at that. Is that cool? Okay, so gotta get my little numbers out. Okay. I would do a couple of these so you guys could uh Watch me play a little more. Do something different. Oh, I have to do... I did my project that I'm going to do for the uh, North Carolina event that's this weekend. Uh, and I'm recording it this time. I'm not... Uh, I'm not doing a live session. So, uh, it's going to be a little bit longer. But I've got to, I've got to uh, do a, um, a little blurb about it. So, uh... I'll probably do that tomorrow. And I will put uh, I'll put a white piece in here. I just uh, didn't want to. So that's this one, okay? So if you wanted to, you could put little faces on there. But is that sweet little card? And this uh, this other one that I did, look at it. Is that sweet? I just love them. They're just sweet little cards. And they're very summery looking. Okay, so now we're going to do, do another one. We'll do something that looks different as soon as I get by. I got a whole bunch of this white paper cut because... It's kind of cool to have it already cut and ready to go. Okay, so this time, what am I going to do? Let's see. I've got... Oh, we'll do pineapple. So I did pineapple before. We'll do some pineapple. We'll do pineapple again, because pineapple's kind of fun. So what I did was I... I have a lot of these blocks, but barely I don't have enough. So uh, I run out of them. This is daffodil yellow. Let's stamp this. I like the pineapples. Fun. 
I mean, you could stamp them different directions if you want to. I'm feeling like everything lined up tonight for some reason. And you know, when you put them on the, uh, when you put them on, you could um, do other things too. You could, you know, you could turn the paper upside down. So you know, when you when you put them together, you don't have to have them together. So this is gonna run into the pineapple. Let's see how this does. Oh, that looks kind of cool. There we go. Fud, fud, fud. Okay. So I'm going to do some libs now. Let's do some libs. So I think for the libs, I'm going to stamp odd and off. Odd and off. Yep. Lime in the coconut. Lime in the coconut. I have to do an odd number. That's not it. Okay, is this the wood or is this the wood? That might be too big. Let's see. Who's the other one? I'm still getting used to these little chicken 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 chickens. Okay, let's see. Is that the wood? I think that's it. Let me try it. See. Let's try it. Let's see if that's it. Yes. There are no directions. <laughs> but you kinda have to figured out. Not quite. I was thinking when I did the center, so I kind of maybe the center, but I don't want to put my head into what you guys are doing. There's that. Okay. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Now, what do we want to do now? Enders. We did pineapples. Oh, we could do some of these little things. There are the granny. Oh, do we use granny? We use granny. Let's see. Do some of this color, which isn't really a fruit, but we'll do it anyway. I don't think there's a blue fruit, do you? I don't know if there is or not. But we'll do it just in case there might be one somewhere. Five. Okay, so then we have, that's pretty. Put that away before I don't put myself in. But I want some pink, flirty flamingo. Some pink, 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 pink. Okay. But then I need some yellow. My goodness. So I was here in North Carolina. We're going to stay at two for, at uh, phase two for uh, three more, two, three more weeks. So I'll just have to force myself to stay home. To work on my, more of my cards. I'm telling you. Force me, just force me to stay. I'll have to stay home. Okay, so now let's do some danders, some more bananas, because those fruits. Why does it look like it's got? Oh, I must have touched it with something else. What about travels? I must have hit it with something else. So then we'll do the little uh, things again. What did I use last time? Gray. Where's my gray? Oh, there it is. I knew I moved it somewhere. I would have probably used brown, but it's not one of the colors, so I don't want to deviate from you know for the wool. Okay. So there's this. And Here. Oh. 
That's it. There's only two. Okay, so I am going to put a face on this one just because you guys asked me to, so I'm going to do it. I know. You wanted me to do it, so I'm going to put a face on it. That's a face. And then this one is a face. Oh, what that is. What's that face for? I don't know. What if banana wants that face? That looks like a banana face. So now you can't eat any of these fruits and stuff because they got faces on them. I don't know. It's kind of creepy to think about a lime, so I'm not going to put any face on that lime. It's creepy to think about that. This one goes over here. I think we've got enough faces. Okay. Now I'm going to bring my little cutter back and cut this again. I used I do want it a half, but you know, um, you don't, you don't have to. You could do whatever. You could do 1.333 or whatever it is. I didn't want to try to figure that out. <laughs> Cut his mouth, Cut his face in half. Goodness gracious. Okay. So this one we will put on the lime and the coconut. I'm having so much fun, but I think I'm gonna stop after this one because, you know, you guys don't need to see me make all these cards. Okay, so there's that, and there's this, and there's this one, half his face. Okay, so I need to cut a little bit off of this one again. I just should have done while I had it there, but it's okay, I'll cut a little bit off. Just that I don't wanna cut his face off again. Oh, I did touch a little bit of his smile. Okay. Okay, so that goes there. So we'll start here. Okay, cool. My glue. Hey, Derek. It's kind of fun to watch myself on the camera. we go. <gasps> Oops. Here we go. Cute fruit. This one. Is that cool? I really like it. Okay, now let me see if I can find my little tag that I did already. Okay, so this one I'm going to cut off and I'm going to cut that again. Let's get for a sweet friend. Get this out again and I'll do this. This one, this way. This one, this way. This is fun. This is my new favorite one. My new favorite. Okay, so I'll get my other stuff out here so I could do this. Put these on. Almost everybody must be out partying tonight because there's not too many people watching me. I would say they must be really out winding down. Oh, well, they, maybe they're doing their taxes. Forgot about that. Oh, I don't want to cover their face up. Maybe I'll do it up here. Okay. What do you think, guys? There's that one. 
There's this wood. And there's this wood. They go. Cool. Three of them. I love them. Okay, well, hope you guys have a good rest of your evening. I appreciate you taking that some time out of your busy day to spend a little bit of time with me. And uh, I look forward to seeing you on Saturday night live. And uh, so you take care. God bless. And I'll see you then. Good night.